I have a new disc sponsor called Prodigy Disc. Um, I did a couple things promoting myself. I have a couple new YouTube videos and uh, you know just kind of kept busy in the promotional region of disc golf and a lot of new stuff. Uh, being, being part of a team that wants to further further the disc as much as possible. And I think that the things in this and uh, stuff that we can do as a team and putting together can really push disc golf forward. No, I mean, not necessarily about that, but it's, you know, it's just, you know, who knows how much of your advice is taken, but I think that we have a pretty, I wouldn't say it's heavy, but you know, we definitely have an input of what we think of the discs, and we give them what we think and what we think it would be better. And we all we all have the same type of same type of input, and it's all about you know we we all know what a good good discs are like and how good discs fly, and that's how that's how we hold ourselves. Uh, last year was definitely my best year. Um, best year of my entire life. From a stats, statist, stats standpoint, uh, I think I won player of the year. And uh, you know, I won back-to-back -back US titles and it's, it's something to, you know, it's, it's also something to work off of, you know, try to get to other, other places, but it's also, you know, it's gonna be tough to beat, but hopefully it, it'll give me something to work for. Um, you know, going playing Worlds is a little different than playing just a regular A tier or national national tour, just because it's more of like you're playing six or seven rounds of disc golf, and you know it's really about playing for as long as possible and still playing at the high highest level that you can. And um, you know it's, it's tough, but it's also something that you have to you have to work for. You have to go out and play every single day, three or four rounds, and play as the best best possibly you can all day long and I think it's 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 tough to work for and it's even tougher to play, so. uh yeah I did a little bit of it I did more I think I pretty much stopped at the yoga part and I did more yoga than I did anything else and I think that really translates <clears throat> I think yoga translates more into disc golf than any other any other uh, workout. Probably actually practicing the right way. I think practicing the right way is, is a major step into improving in anybody's game and learning from your mistakes is, is also a major thing and you know if you know that one disc that you always throw is always going left and you're trying to keep it go right. Obviously you have to make an adjustment and you know that's just one of the little things about, about uh, disc golf that some people don't really take into account is making adjustments into their game. And, I think that's one thing that if I make little adjustments, whether it's you know any anything, and might be able to help out. Distance is something that I'm not really concerned with it too much, and there's not many holes that are in the 600 to 650 foot range that you would want to get or try to get a two on, or even have an opportunity for it. Usually, if it's 600 feet, it's around some corner where you wouldn't even be able to throw a disc there. And I think that it's, if anything, it's not even throwing, it's almost throwing shorter, but being way more accurate. Uh, 
Not really. I, I mean, I wouldn't say that I go out and work on one specific shot. I think I still always worked on the same stuff ever since I had started playing disc golf, is I always work on throwing my mid-ranges and throwing my putters. And when it, come, when it came to drivers, it's something that wasn't, wasn't a main necessity to have about throwing, and you learn to throw your drivers off of throwing your putters and mid-ranges, so those kind of go hand in hand. But when you do it the right way. But when it comes to working on a specific shot, I don't think there's one thing that I've specifically I've been working on. Always working on putting, of course. I think it's better to have one, one or two strengths that are like your main strengths that you can always rely on than to have, than to be all, you know, across the entire board, kind of shaky on every single thing always know what your disc do. Don't, don't be surprised that your disc flipped it over and went out of bounds. If, you know, if it's done that before, it's probably gonna do it again. Um, definitely Prodigy Disc. And uh, I have a couple other sponsors. I have the Journey Post out of Branson, Missouri. They're a disc shop retailer. They have all, all kinds of discs that you can go there and buy. Uh, I have Bearded Brothers Health Food Bar. It's like 100% organic, really good. And uh, Big Heiser bags, the new Ergo disc golf bag is out. And we'll have a video coming up about that and promoting it as much as I can out there. Mm -hmm.